Hello, dear ones. Today I am again reading excerpts from Swami Kriyananda's book, A Renunciate Order for the New Age. And as we have been discussing ways in which to transcend the ego, I wanted to read another exercise that Swami gives us as a means of making this a reality in our own lives. Because the more that we can feel our oneness with all of creation, the more our energy will rise, the happier we will be. There's nothing more painful than wallowing in the ego. I've often thought that <clears throat> we should teach this in schools. And in fact, our education for life system that Ananda has that was brought into creation through Swami Kriyananda and many others who have worked on that energy of education for life. It's such an important thing to teach children to think of others, to not be stuck in that consciousness of referring everything that happens back to the self. It's creating pain in ourselves. Rather, if we live by true principles, if we live by high ideals, we think of others automatically. We think of the good of the whole rather than how does this situation affect me personally. And so all of these ways, these very mundane, commonplace exercises that Swami gives us in this book and that were part of his teachings help us to live in joy because the ego brings pain. Transcendence brings bliss. So Swami offers this suggestion. If someone makes an incorrect statement, don't bother to correct him unless you consider it important to do so. But if it does seem important enough to speak up, then instead of flatly contradicting him, make it clear first that you know he is interested only, as are you, in the truth. This is very important. How often we've been with people who are just cantankerous and want to pick a fight over every little detail. And sometimes I've found friends that will edit my words even as I am speaking them. <laughs> and it ends up making you just want to go talk to someone else. We're not always completely accurate in our speech. It's one of the reasons why I love the written word because it gives me more opportunity to think through all the things that I'm saying. But if you are in conversation with someone and they say, they, they quote an untrue number in relation to the facts of a situation. And it's, it's not a huge thing. Let it go. Don't try to correct every little thing that people say or correcting their grammar or their vocabulary. Let them have their moment without jumping in Actually listen to people. Hear behind the mess, sometimes, of their words. Try to read the heart. A friend was asking me about how to develop intuition, and I was telling her that it's very important to listen. 
sensitively. And we have to hear that still small voice within that the Bible talks about. God seldom shouts. It's a whisper, like Yogananda named his book, Whispers from Eternity. We have to sensitize ourselves so that we can really hear what people are saying beyond their words and into their hearts. This will help us also to develop intuition. And transcending the ego is largely through the intuition. We have to start realizing little by little as our understanding grows that we are not all separate beings. We are one with our Creator.